Hi there, I'm Dami and you're listening to Dami's video blog. Yay! Don't forget to click like and subscribe to my channel and I promise to bringing you gist upon gist upon gist and once in a while I throw in the motivational speech and all that you need weekly. Anyways, today's gist is about this lady. Her name is Jibi Ken. I'm sure some of you have not heard of her story, but somebody directed me to it and was like, um, babe, you need to go on YouTube and search for the story of GBK. You would be glad you did. And I was like, hey, okay, let's go online, you know, www.youtube.com <clears throat> in the search bar, the story of GBK. And then I saw part one to seven. It was like African magic, like correct Nollywood. Even Nollywood know they reach part seven. Anyways, to save you guys the stress of having to listen to listen to the whole thing, let me give you a quick rundown of what actually happened. From what I understand, it's possible I'm not 100% correct, but <clears throat> from what I understand of the event, it's like GBK and ABK are very good friends. You guys need to follow me carefully. GBK and ABK are very good friends. GBK probably gossiped about ABK. I have no idea with who, but GBK probably gossiped about ABK. And ABK got to know that GBK was gossiping about her. Now, ABK decided to go online and post a narrative telling every one of us GBK's life story. Abigail went online, called out GBK, saying GBK is a gossip, GBK is um, an adulterous woman, the baby GBK just out of recent does not belong to her husband, it belongs to her man friend. She said so many things about how GBK even tells her about other people, about her husband, about her husband's family. My dear, the story was long. When I, as, in, as I was listening to it, I was like, God, no, 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 I can't take this. Enough is enough. So I paused, I stopped the video, and I saw another person's version of the story of GBK. I was like, okay, let me hear what this person has to say. I opened it. This one was helping GBK to reply. Like, ABK, you are a this, you, you know, different things. In fact, the vulgar words I was hearing from that video, eh? I've never heard it before in my life. Anyways, I know to gist too. I know to do Fofo very well, so continue following me like that. So, as I was hearing this assistant GBK replying Abike, I was like, hey, okay, is GBK herself not going to come out and reply Abike as in, make I hear now. I shall saw another video, the story of GBK from another person again. And he said, that, okay, let me listen. I think this one is from Esther Bot. Esther Bot gave the load down as in she broke it down into pieces. That woman is good. Anyways, as I was saying, I decided to listen to Esther Bot's version to see what, as in, let me even hear from my own perspective what was happening. And I discovered that GBK and Abike used to be childhood friends, or let me say their friendship has been on for a long time. And whatever the misunderstanding came up, I don't know what it is, but Abike decided to make this video voice note in a way because it was a voice note with so many of GBK's pictures so even if you've not seen GBK before you are seeing her pictures it's not a biggest face you are seeing it's GBK so many pictures as in I think I need to reduce how many of my pictures my friends have oh my pictures are all over Facebook that's besides the point okay so this after all of Abike's story the part that made me say wait me this was when I heard that Abike's mom decided to make her own video. I think after Abike made all her own videos, so many people were responding to her, insulting her that she shouldn't have done such a thing. But GBK did not reply. Now, Abike's mom decided, you know our mothers can fight for us now, they don't mind. So Abike's mom decided to fight for her daughter like, why are you people insulting my daughter? She was only telling GBK to stop mudslinging her name. Her daughter has not done anything wrong. The mother to started raining curses upon people that are insulting ABK. Now, my point of that story is some friends are better off as enemies. Honestly speaking, if you have a friend like ABK in your life, you don't have friends. 
you're better off with enemies as in your enemies love you more than friends like abike reason why i said that is because i've been in a similar situation before i'm not saying gbk is innocent in this case i'm not here to pass judgment but i've been in a similar situation before whereas me and this lady had a misunderstanding. We used to be very good friends. We had a misunderstanding and our parents decided, okay, they should settle the matter. When they were trying to settle the matter, I was just saying, there's no need for these people to get involved. If we are going to settle, we will settle. It's not you people that, will, at this stage of my life, you are not the person that will come and tell me who to be friends with. They were like, no, we must say everything that happened, this one, that. Okay, if you want to hear what happened, this is what happened. I decided to say exactly what led to us not talking again at that point in time but this my friend only god knows what she has been telling her mom so many lies that i was like are you kidding me the mother was like yes i believe my daughter if my daughter says this this is how it is so many things that even i never opened my mouth to tell my mom and i was just there like okay so even if we had a fight or something and i have this really big secret is this how you come and table it and everybody will start looking at me like a devil or something? At that point in time when I heard everything, I just told my mom and her mom and I was like, you guys should stop wasting your time because me and this girl, we are never ever going to be friends again. And I still stand by that here today because with some friends, my dear, you're better off with enemies. It is better for us to know when to stop being friends with certain people. Some people are like leeches leeches they are with you they are looking beautiful but no they are sucking your blood you don't know what they are saying behind you and when the chips are down you don't know the kind of things that will come out of their mouth because when you hear those kind of things you wish as at that point in time i wish the flock would open up and swallow me because they were both lies and maybe some of them were true but it's not something i expect someone i call my friend like if i call you my friend and i tell you something it's not because i want you to go and distribute it or share it or tell people at the slightest provocation i don't know if you get my point that was exactly what abike did if your friend confided in you that the baby i have right now oh, i'm not too sure if it's for my husband or for my man friend the fact that people had a misunderstanding doesn't mean you should go ahead and announce it to the whole world if your friend confided in you that ah, it's as if my brother in law my sister in law my cousins in law whatever in law whatever that she wants to put if she confides in you that it's as if she's having this kind of issues with them or that it doesn't mean when you people have the slightest fight you should open your mouth and spill everything because at that point in time you're causing more damage than good and the worst part of the whole gist was when abika was saying i don't want to start talking yet because if i start talking what more can you say You've already accused her of infidelity. You've already accused her of bringing a bastard to her husband's home. You've already accused her of talking, gossiping about her in-laws. You've already accused her of backbiting about all of her friends. My dear, what more can you say? Except if you want to tell us she buried the dead body somewhere, you want to help us to excavate it. Seriously, with some friends, I swear, we are better off enemies. Now, my advice to you is, before I even get to that, we've all talked about somebody behind their backs. We have, we've, whether you have decided to be born again now or not, there's this point in time that we have gossiped about somebody. There is this point in time that we have said something about someone that we are not proud of and we cannot say it to their faces. So before you go all judgy and say, no, I don't do that, ish, it's beyond me. Or no, 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 I'm too good, I'm too born again for that. Come here, we have all done it before, one way or the other. Even if it is when you are preaching, you have done it before. It must have slipped out of your mouth one way or the other and you say, God, forgive me. Everybody is guilty of it. But my point now is, if you see those traces in a friend, my dear, you're better off without that friend. And even you too, you try and caution your mouth it is not everything the eye sees that the mouth speaks it is not everything you see it is not everything you are experiencing that you come out and say according to abike gbk said her husband's um you know winnie is too small and because of that that is why she loves this uh, side nigger because the side niggers winnie oh my god it's manly she said that to her friend Abikena decided to come and tell the whole world. Now I know that the man is a small, is a small winning species. 
if you go and say that to your friend, you don't know who your friend will go and say it to. From there, you don't know. As in, just splat, just flies. Once the word comes out of your mouth, it is like egg. Once you break it, like once it's out, you can't pack it back. It's too late. Like they say, it's too late to cry when the head is already cut off. But at that point, it's too late. So what you know you are not going to be proud of repeating in the presence of that person. What you know that in five years' time, if you hear yourself saying it, you'll be ashamed of yourself. Don't say it. There is this adage that says, think before you talk. Let us all cultivate that habit of thinking before we talk. In this situation, I'm not... I'm blaming both Abike and GBK right now because there's no smoke without fire. There is no... In every rumor, there is an iota of truth. I want to believe in everything Abike said about GBK, there is an iota of truth. But I'm saying Abike shouldn't have come online to say it. Because once you say it, you can't take it back. And you're saying you're only trying to tell her to stop mudslinging your name. And you guys can still... Mm -mm, you can never be friends. You've broken that friendship forever. If GPK decides to be friends with you, she's indirectly digging her grave. Like when you carry a uh, digger and hoe and everything and you go to the ground and start digging it, that this is what to bury you. That's what you are doing. If you say you want to be friends again with Abike, because in that situation, be like me. You can never ever be friends. It is not pride. It is not a sin. It is knowing what is best for you. And what is best for GBK at this point in time is to know that that person is not a friend. Even you, Abike, for you to say all those things about somebody, you should know you are not a friend. And you should know she is not good enough to be your friend. So stop saying you people can still get back together. Anyways, back to my point. As a girl, as a guy, whoever you are, married, not married, stop, stop backbiting. We, I know we do it. It's sweet to talk. When the gist starts like this, we can't stop it. But stop backbiting. Stop saying things you will not be proud of. Because at the end of the day, you will be the one to regret it. Especially when the gist comes out in the open. Like, <coughs> the thousand years is open, we can see the annals. Stop it. It's not good. It's not ladylike. It's not even... Like, we preach about it every time. In church, not in church, anywhere. We preach about it every time that what you know that you cannot be proud of, don't do it. Your churches will tell you, thou shalt not lie. I'm sure even the same thing applies to Muslims. Let us be honest at every point in time. As in, let your yes be yes, your no be no. Do not call white black. So, I'm trying to admonish every one of us. And I'm using GBK and Abike's story as an example. Reduce the way you gossip about people because tomorrow it might be your gist I'll be talking about here. If I get wind of it, I will bring it online for you. I will talk about it. Another thing is if there is something about you that you don't want the whole world to put their mouth in, don't bring it online. If you know there is this part of you that you would like to keep a secret or you would like you will not like to hear people's opinions about it. Don't bring it online because the moment you share your story online, the moment you share that heartbreak, that disappointment, that whatever online, it becomes a public matter. And whatever stone is thrown at you at that point in time, be ready to receive it. Take it. Be ready. Be ready to take it. Be ready to receive it. Anyways, I'll talk more about that at a later video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Subscribe to my channel if you want to get first and just from dummy talking about my opinion my opinion on this particular matter is don't do it don't gossip don't bring your family problem online a problem shared is a problem i've solved but be careful who you share it with because at times a problem shared is a problem multiplied not half solved Anyways, this is Dami. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for watching my video and click subscribe and give me the thumbs up. And if you feel you have a contrary opinion to what I've said or even if you're supporting my opinion, just drop it in the comment section below and mm, love you.